Well, NBC2's Alex Howard reveals the lawsuit that claims police are violating our constitutional rights. Well, the cameras like these seen at every entry and exit point on Marco Island are now at the center of a lawsuit filed by the new Civil Liberties Alliance against the city of Marco Island, which claims that the cameras are collecting and keeping driver data for anyone who enters the island, all without a warrant. They'll know who lives on the island who don't live on the island. When you first arrive on Marco Island, this is the first thing that greets you. Cameras checking your car's license plate. Longtime resident Andy Ronald says it helps keep the community safe. I actually got pulled over because I came across the bridge with an unknown car. So it is protecting us. If you don't know the car, pull them over. But this week, the NCLA, on behalf of other residents, filed a lawsuit claiming these cameras are unconstitutional. They are not happy with having the... Uh, uh, the city engaging in 24-hour-a-day surveillance of them. And while past Supreme Court rulings have confirmed that traffic cameras don't violate people's right to privacy, Attorney Richard Samp says the amount of time the city keeps that data does. Uh, there certainly is no need for the city maintaining any information that they get from these automatic license plate readers for a three-year period. Today, the city declined to comment on the case, saying they haven't been served yet. Meanwhile, Samp and the people he represents hope the message is clear. That kind of surveillance without a warrant is not permitted under the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. It'll be up to a court to decide if the lawsuit will move forward. Reporting on Marco Island, Alex Howard, NBC2.